In this episode, we're gonna be building a basic birdhouse. This is a quick and simple project that's great for getting the kids involved too. You can find the project plans linked below and if you're ready to get building, let's go. As far as tools, you'll need a miter saw, a nail gun, and a drill. This birdhouse design is really great in that you don't need a whole lot of materials to build it. You can build two birdhouses from a single 1x8x8 board and a wooden dowel. First, bring the 1x8 to the miter saw and cut two 9 inch long pieces. These will be the front and the back of the birdhouse. Once these pieces are cut to length, find the center and use a speed square to mark a 45 degree roof line from that mark. Then measuring from the bottom side, one and a half inches from each edge and draw a straight line from those points to the bottom of the roof. Bring these pieces back to the miter saw and cut the 45 degree angle roof along your mark lines. The angle on the bottom here is approximately 15 degrees, so adjust the miter saw to 15 degrees and cut along these lines. Repeat this process for the second piece so that you have two identically shaped front and back pieces. Then grab your 1x8 board and head back to the miter saw to cut the remaining pieces to complete the birdhouse. You'll need two five and a half inch square pieces for the sides, one two and three quarter inch by five and a half inch piece for the bottom, and for the roof, you'll also need a five and a quarter by seven and a quarter inch piece and a six by seven and a quarter inch piece. Again, all of these measurements are detailed in the plans. You'll also need to drill out a hole in the front of the house for the birds to get into. Be sure to clamp this piece to the workbench before drilling. You can do this before or after assembling, but it's probably a little easier to do it beforehand. Use a one and a half inch Forstner bit, a hole saw, or a spade bit to drill a one and a half inch diameter hole into the front piece. Now, using wood glue that is rated for exterior use, glue and nail the side pieces between the front and the back pieces of the birdhouse. If you don't have a nail gun here, you can use exterior wood screws or just a hammer and nails as well. place the bottom into the birdhouse. I found it easiest to insert the bottom piece through the top of the birdhouse and use a mallet to tap it in place. Now you can nail or screw this piece in place. Then assemble the roof pieces together with glue and nails so that the six inch piece overlaps the five and a quarter inch piece and it makes a 90 degree angle. If you wanna finish these pieces in different colors, go ahead and paint and or stain now. I was planning to leave this natural cedar color, so I just went ahead and glued and nailed this roof piece in place. To finish up, cut a small piece of wood dowel. I used a 3 8 inch wood dowel for this, but you can also use another size if you prefer. And then find a drill bit that's the same size as your dowel. Drill a hole to insert your wood dowel about one inch down from the opening of the front of the birdhouse. You can use a Forstner bit, a spade bit, or a regular drill bit to make this hole. Just apply some wood glue along the bottom of the dowel and insert it into the hole. Wipe away any excess glue and allow it to dry. You can use some eye screws or hooks in the top of this birdhouse along with some twine or wire to hang it. Or you can simply attach it to a post or a tree as desired. I hope you've enjoyed this project and thanks so much for watching this episode of Pop Projects. Let me know how it went in the comments below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any other projects that I'm doing with Popular Mechanics.